example one, find the length of the arc of the uh, semi-cubical parabola y squared equals uh, x cubed between the points open 1 and 1 close and open 4 and 8 close. See figure 5. Sidebar figure 5. Back to the text solution. For the top half of the curve we have y equals x to the power 3 over 2 and dy over dx equals 3 over 2 times uh, x to the power 1 half. And so the arc length formula gives big L equals the integral from 1 to 4 times the square root of 1 plus dy over dx squared times dx equals the integral of integral from 1 to 4 times the square root of 1 plus 9 over 4x dx. If we substitute u equals 1 plus 9 over 4x, then du equals 9 over 4 dx. When x equals 1, u equals 13 over 4. When x equals 4, u equals 10. Therefore, big L equals 4 over 9, the integral from 13 over 4 to 10, the square root of u du equals 4 over 9 times 2 over 3 u to the power of 3 over 2 on the interval from 13 over 4 to 10 equals 8 over 27 open bracket 10 to the power 3 over 2 minus open 13 over 4 close to the power 3 over 2 close bracket equals 1 over 27 open 80 times the square root of 10 minus 13 the square root of 13 sidebar. As a check on our answer to example 1, notice from figure 5 that the arc length ought to be slightly larger than the distance from open 1 and 1 close to open 4 and 8 close, which is the square root of 58 equals approximately 7.615773. According to our calculation in example 1, we have big L equals 1 over 27, open 80 times the square root of 10 minus 13, the square root of 13, close, equals approximately 7.633705. Sure enough, this is a bit greater than the length of the line segment. Back to the text. If a curve has the equation x equals g of y and y is greater than or equal to c but less than or equal to d and a g prime of y is continuous, then by interchanging the roles of x and y in formula 2 or equation 3, we obtain the following formula for its length. Equation 4. Big L equals the integral from C to D, the square root of 1 plus open bracket G prime of Y close bracket squared DY equals the integral from C to D of the square root of 1 plus open DX over DY close squared DY. Example 2. Find the length of the arc of the parabola 
y squared equals x from points of 0 and 0 to 1 and 1. Solution. Since x equals y squared, we have dx over dy equals 2y. And uh, formula 4 gives big L equals the integral from 0 to 1. The square root of 1 plus open dx over dy close the square to dy equals the integral from 0 to 1. The square root of 1 plus 4 y squared dy. We make the trigonometric substitution y equals 1 half tangent theta, which gives dy equals 1 half secant squared theta d theta. And the square root of 1 plus 4 y squared equals square root of 1 plus tangent squared theta equals secant theta. When y equals 0, tangent theta equals 0, so theta equals 0. When y equals 1, tangent theta equals 2, so theta equals the inverse tangent of 2 equals alpha, say. Thus, big L equals the integral from 0 to a secant theta times 1 half secant squared theta d theta equals 1 half the integral from 0 to a of secant cubed theta d theta equals one half times one half open bracket secant theta tangent theta plus the natural log of the absolute value of secant theta plus tangent theta close bracket from zero to a uh, zero to alpha from example seven point two point eight equals one fourth open secant alpha tangent alpha plus the natural log of the absolute value of secant alpha plus tangent alpha. Close. We could have used formula 21 in the table of integrals since tangent alpha equals 2. We have secant squared alpha plus we have secant squared alpha equals 1 plus tangent squared alpha equals 5 so secant alpha equals the square root of 5 and big L equals the square root of 5 over 2 plus the natural log of open the square root of 5 plus 2 close over 4 sidebar Figure 6 shows the arc of the parabola whose length is computed in example 2 together with polygonal approximations having n equals 1 and equals 2 and equals 2 line segments respectively. For n equals 1, the approximate length is big L sub 1 equals square root 2, the diagonal of, the, of a square. The table shows the approximations big L sub n that we get by dividing open bracket 0 and 1 close bracket into n equal sub intervals. Notice that each time we double the number of sides of the polygon we get closer to the exact length which is big L equals the square root 5 over 2 plus the natural log of the square root of 5 plus 2 over 4 which is approximately 1.478943 figure 6 with a table with columns in and big L sub n back to the text because of the presence of the square root sign in formula, formulas 2 and 4, the calculation of an arc length often leads to an integral that is very difficult or even impossible to evaluate explicitly. Thus, we sometimes have to be content with finding an approximation 
to the length of a curve as in the following example. 